Here is an interesting question for Big 12 fans. Mark Shapiro is advising the Big 12 in their next media rights negotiations, right? Mark Shapiro, 51-year-old media executive who has been pulling the strings behind the scenes for a while. Is this a good thing that he is advising the Big 12 in their negotiations? Now, the reason that I ask you this is we, we know that Mark Shapiro, if you did not know, how's that? We'll start off with that. If you did not know, Mark Shapiro, uh, he is the president of Endeavor, which used to be WME-IMG, right? It's a William Morris Endeavor. Um, it's a, we'll, we'll define it the way that Dennis Dodd did a powerful global sports entertainment and content company. It says that he is expiring, or it, uh, excuse me, advising the Big 12 on the next media rights deal after its current agreement expires ahead of the 2025 season. Now, the story that I had always heard about Mark Shapiro and the reason why we have maybe gotten into this mess to begin with, or at least the first domino that fell with it, is Shapiro was the one that worked at ESPN as an executive who told Jim Delaney um, basically, like, here's your offer, take it or leave it for ESPN. And Delaney thought that it was a low ball offer. And it turned out that it actually was. This was back in 2004. Uh, Delaney told him no. Like, we are not going to take that offer uh, for you to have all of our content. We think we're worth more. That led to the Big Ten Network being created. That led to Fox getting involved with the Big Ten, etc. cetera. Uh, there was just a lot there. The quotes here, it says, you are rolling the dice, Shapiro infamously told Delaney. And Delaney responded, consider them rolled. And, of course, you know, you see what happened next. In 2017, uh, Delaney signed a short six-year, $2.64 billion deal with Fox and ESPN. And now we are moving into the spot where uh, the Big Ten is going to end up, I mean, making more than a billion dollars per year, right? And now in order to pay every school that's on that's going to be in the conference over $100 million a year. You're going to have to sign over $1.6 million. I don't know if it's going to get quite to there, but it'll get close. It'll get really, really close. Uh, so Shapiro, of course, is now waiting for that Big Ten deal to be announced sometime around Labor Day or so. But how obviously he's good at his job. He's been CEO and president of tons of different organizations through the years, right? Tons of these giant companies. But he is in a position now where he's waiting on the Big Ten to get their deal done, and then he can figure out exactly which way to go with uh, the Big 12, right? He's advising uh, Brett Yormark on this. I can't wait to see what's going to happen. I mean, this is, this is very, very interesting with Mark Shapiro. So I, you guys tell me. Jump in the comments. Let me know, is Mark Shapiro the best guy to help with advising the Big 12 in this situation? Because I'm not certain that he is. Maybe he is. Maybe things have gotten better. Obviously, things were a lot different back in 2004 than they are right now. And he is involved in the content game. He understands this business. He's been around it forever. But I'm curious your thoughts. I don't necessarily know what I think on this one. Um, but it does look like, you know, Big 12 value right now. Everything's estimated north of $30 million per team. That is significantly higher than what I thought it was going to be. If you stick at 12 teams, you don't expand any more than you already have. You stay at 12, I mean, you're you're looking at a massive payday. Massive, massive payday. Um, you know, well over $300 million. Three, 350, 360 million, you know, somewhere around there. Uh, should be interesting. Should be interesting to see what happens. So, I think, uh, I think that would be 360. 360 million if you did 30 million per team. So we're actually looking north of that. So let's say 400 to 500 million. You're looking at half a billion dollars for a conference that Texas and Oklahoma just left. I mean, I'm all in. That, that sounds like a good deal to me for, uh, for all the guys in the Big 12, for sure. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.